welcome to Vision of China. The global economic framework is experiencing a profound shift as established alliances are being reassessed and novel partnerships are taking shape. Recently, the United States has annulled Japan's ambitious endeavor to acquire the venerable U.S. Steel Corporation. Concurrently, China has secured a formidable $50 billion investment accord with Saudi Arabia. This development highlights the changing contours of international trade and economic strategies, emphasizing the intricate and evolving challenges nations encounter in safeguarding their economic interests amid fluctuating geopolitical currents. Japan, a steadfast ally of the United States for decades, now finds itself embroiled in this economic contest. Nippon Steel, one of Japan's premier steel producers, aimed to purchase U.S. steel with the intention of broadening its global presence and bolstering its competitiveness in the steel industry. Despite these aspirations, the deal has been persistently obstructed by successive U.S. administrations, including those under Presidents Biden and Trump, as well as Vice President Kamala Harris. The U.S. Committee on Foreign Investment has raised apprehensions regarding national security and economic implications, effectively stalling the acquisition. This decision has left Japan disillusioned and questioning the dependability of its alliance with the U.S., particularly during an election year when American voters are intensely focused on job security and economic stability. Nippon Steel had proposed an extensive plan to upgrade U.S. Steel's manufacturing facilities with a $2.7 billion investment, assuring that no jobs would be eliminated or plants closed. These commitments were intended to placate U.S. officials and demonstrate Nippon Steel's dedication to sustaining and enhancing the domestic steel industry. Nevertheless, the U.S. remains cautious concerned that Nippon Steel might shift production to more cost-effective regions such as India, thereby jeopardizing American employment and the stability of the local steel market. This strategic stance by the U.S. reflects a broader objective to prioritize domestic economic interests and shield critical industries from foreign competition, even if it strains relationships with allied nations. The timing of this obstruction poses significant challenges for Japan. With the U.S. elections looming, the Biden administration is particularly focused on protecting American jobs and industries, rendering any potential job losses from foreign acquisitions politically untenable. Additionally, the high production costs in the U.S. have increasingly hindered Japanese companies' ability to compete, especially as China accelerates its steel exports. From January to April this year alone, Chinese steel exports exceeded 100 million tons, maintaining an annual growth rate of over 10% for the past five years. This surge has exerted considerable downward pressure on global steel prices, making it even more arduous for Japanese firms to sustain profitability and market share. China's assertive expansion in the steel sector is a pivotal factor driving Japan's urgency to secure the U.S. steel acquisition. Nippon Steel's profitability has declined by over 20% in the last fiscal year, as Chinese manufacturers continue to underprice and expand their market presence through initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative. These developments have significantly undermined Nippon Steel's standing in the Asia-Pacific region, including key markets such as South Korea and China. The company's dependence on costly energy imports, primarily liquefied natural gas, coupled with a weakened yen, has further exacerbated its financial difficulties, rendering the acquisition of U.S. Steel a crucial lifeline to sustain its operations and explore new revenue avenues. In stark contrast to Japan's faltering efforts, China is forging robust economic alliances, exemplified by its recent $50 billion investment agreement with Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Public Investment Fund has inked deals with major Chinese financial institutions, including the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China and the Bank of China, facilitating substantial capital flows between the two nations. This partnership extends beyond conventional oil exports, encompassing collaborative ventures in technology and manufacturing sectors, such as the establishment of solar panel production facilities with firms like Jinko and TCL. Saudi Arabia's strategy involves leveraging Chinese expertise and investment to diversify its economy and position itself as a regional hub for renewable energy. 
thereby reducing its reliance on oil and enhancing its industrial capabilities. The alliance between Saudi Arabia and China signifies a strategic maneuver to counterbalance U.S. economic dominance in the region. By investing in Chinese technology and infrastructure, Saudi Arabia aims to cultivate a sustainable and diversified economy, positioning itself as a pivotal player in the global renewable energy landscape. This partnership not only amplifies China's economic influence in the Middle East, but also grants Saudi Arabia access to cutting-edge technology and investment, fostering mutual growth and development. The $50 billion agreement marks a significant realignment in global economic alliances, underscoring China's burgeoning influence and the inclination of nations to shift away from traditional Western partnerships in favor of more lucrative and strategic collaborations. Japan's predicament is further intensified by the overarching U.S. economic strategy, which emphasizes reshoring, bringing manufacturing back to the U.S., over friendshoring, which focuses on strengthening ties with allied nations. This approach prioritizes American economic interests and job creation, often at the expense of allies like Japan, which find themselves constrained by U.S. policies and tariffs aimed at protecting domestic industries. The U.S. has imposed a 25% tariff on Chinese steel and aluminum products to counter China's overcapacity and unfair trade practices, inadvertently impacting Japanese companies striving to compete in the global market. These tariffs are part of a broader strategy to safeguard American industries from foreign competition, but they also impede the economic ambitions of allied nations, creating friction and economic strain within traditional alliances. The ramifications of these policies are evident in the challenges faced by Japanese companies operating in the U.S. For example, Tokyo Electron, a leading Japanese semiconductor manufacturer, experienced a significant decline in sales to China, dropping by nearly 40 percent in Q4 2022 due to U.S. restrictions on technology exports to China. This sharp decline underscores the unintended consequences of U.S. policies which, while aimed at maintaining technological supremacy, also undermine the economic interests of allied nations like Japan. These tensions are further exacerbated by China's retaliatory threats to limit critical mineral exports essential for Japan's automotive industry, creating a precarious environment where economic cooperation is undermined by geopolitical rivalries. Japan's efforts to align closely with the G7 and the U.S. have left it constrained, as evidenced by the obstruction of the Nippon Steel deal. This situation has compelled Japan to reassess its global strategy, recognizing that reliance on traditional alliances alone may no longer be sufficient in the face of China's expanding economic influence. The densely populated and economically dynamic regions of Asia, including India, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and Vietnam, presents significant opportunities for trade and cooperation that Japan must now explore to sustain its economic growth. However, this necessitates a strategic realignment and a willingness to diversify economic partnerships beyond the conventional Western-centric frameworks. The broader implications of the U.S. cancellation of the Nippon Steel Deal and China's strategic partnership with Saudi Arabia mark a critical juncture in global economic relations. Japan's situation serves as a cautionary example of the limitations inherent in relying solely on traditional alliances, particularly when those alliances are driven by nationalistic economic policies that prioritize domestic interests over collective growth. As China continues to bolster its economic strength through strategic investments and partnerships, nations like Japan must navigate a complex and evolving global landscape balancing their economic aspirations with the geopolitical realities of an increasingly multipolar world. The potential collapse of the Nippon Steel deal highlights the fragility of economic alliances in today's geopolitical climate. Even the most enduring alliances can falter when economic interests diverge, revealing the underlying motivations that drive national policies. The U.S. focus on reshoring and protecting domestic industries while beneficial for American workers, presents significant challenges for allied nations striving to compete in the global market. 
This dynamic raises critical questions about the future of international economic cooperation and the sustainability of traditional alliances in a world where economic and geopolitical interests are continually shifting. In summary, the termination of Japan's Nippon Steel deal by the U.S. and China's $50 billion investment pact with Saudi Arabia underscore the profound transformations reshaping global economic relations. Japan stands at a crossroads, needing to adapt to a rapidly evolving environment where traditional alliances are being tested and new economic partnerships are emerging. The strategic decisions made by nations in response to these shifts will determine their economic trajectories and their roles in the increasingly interconnected and competitive global economy. As the world progresses, the ability to navigate these complex dynamics will be essential for maintaining economic stability and fostering sustainable growth in an era of unprecedented change.